let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you see it. The puss in my neighborhood, surfing on the sine wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine, pick your second right past Mars on the magic school bus. Half a day to Nostro. I'm on the magic school bus. Spank a plane, turn two. Take that. And I'm magic school bus. Drop the river of love. So strap your bones right to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on the magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on. Me, 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 me. Good morning, class. How is everyone? Good. In the spirit of today's holiday, we will be learning about my favorite system. It's the circulatory system of love. Ew. Okay, let's begin. Does anyone know anything about the cardiovascular system? Your heart beats really fast when you see someone you like. Oh, I know. The circulatory system is a network that delivers blood to the body's tissues. That's correct, Carlos. The circulatory system is a system that provides blood through the body. It consists of the heart, blood vessels, and blood. Its functions include transportation of gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide, transportation of nutrients such as glucose, transportation of waste from cells to organs that eliminate these wastes, maintenance of pH and ionic concentration of fluids in body, and maintenance of body temperature. <sighs> Man, I'm getting really tired. Okay, it looks like everyone is falling asleep. Time for a field trip. Whoa, Miss Frizzle, where are we? Look, we're swimming in the Red Sea. Wee, look, I can swim. You're close, Phoebe. It's not the Red Sea that we're in, but Tim's blood. More specifically, Tim's superior vena cava, and swimming closer towards the heart as we speak. Look at that drop of blood in front of us. It has about 5 million red blood cells in there, just like that. Just think, they are a bunch of students traveling in a, grump, in a group too. Whoa, I've never seen so many students in one field trip. How silly. Isn't it exciting? It's so cool. Okay, everyone, I want all of you to hang on to one red blood cell also called erythrocytes, and enjoy the ride. Woo, slow down red blood cells, woo. If you guys will notice, these red blood cells that you're riding on have something called hemoglobin, which is a gas transporting protein making up as much as 95% of the blood. This hemoglobin determines what type of blood you have, whether A, B, both, or O. It looks like Tim has type A blood because he only has the A antigen and the B antibody. On your right, you will see the leukocytes. These are most commonly known as white blood cells. These things are little fighters and defend out our body from foreign bad material. Give them a thank you. Thank you. Miss Frizzle, what is that yellowish clear stuff in the blood? That's your snot. Excellent question, Arnold. That, my friend, is called plasma. It is made out of sugar, fat, protein, and salt solution, which carry the red and white blood cells and platelets. Plasma also contains blood clotting factors, so when you bleed, you only bleed a little. Cool! If that stuff is plasma, then what are those things, Miss Frizzle? That's another good question. Those things over there are called plasma proteins. They are in the blood to do many different things. They can also transport lipids and hormones and help function in the immune system. Okay, everyone, get ready. And here we are, the right atrium. This is where all deoxygenated blood comes into the heart to be refilled with oxygen. Uh, Miss Frizzle, are we supposed to feel like this space is closing in on us? I'm feeling very nauseous, and now I feel like I'm moving forward. Where are we now? Not to worry, children. We just passed by the tricuspid valves into the right ventricle. 
That movement was caused by the SA node, which stimulated the atria to contract and travel to the AV node. After a really brief moment, the stimulus that the SA node was stimulated by went through the bundle of Hiss to the Purkinje fibers. Basically, it was an electrical impulse causing the heart to contract. Notice how the ventricle is larger. Can anyone guess why? Ew, I know the answer to this one too. Is it because the ventricle has to pump into the lungs while the atrium is just letting the blood through? Correct again, Carlos. This is why the right ventricle, and as you will see later, the left ventricle are thicker than the right and left atriums. Hold on, we're getting pumped again! Miss Frizzle, why are those two big marshmallows doing in the heart? Those aren't marshmallows, silly. That was the pulmonary valve. They prevent the blood that was pumped into the pulmonary artery from going back to the ventricle. That way, the blood won't be going backwards like a roller coaster. Now, if everyone looked to both their sides, you will see the lungs. Make sure to make room for your oxygen buddies to hop on for the ride so that the blood is now oxygenated. Miss Frizzle, is that the pulmonary vein? You are on fire today, Carlos. And yes, that is the pulmonary vein. But do remember that almost all veins go to the heart and all arteries go, to the, go away from the heart except for the pulmonary artery and pulmonary vein. Miss Frizzle, aren't we just going in a giant circle? Were we just here? Actually, Ralphie, this is the left side of the heart now. Before, we were on the right side. This cycle is called the pulmonary circulation. Notice how everything feels so much closer together. It is like we were one big happy family. This tightness can be called blood pressure. It is how much pressure this blood is exerting on the walls of the blood vessels. We just left the left atrium and we are now entering the left ventricle. These two pills are another set of valves, but these are called the aortic valves, which allow passage to the aorta. Now we are on our way out of the heart. Yay! Miss Frizzle, can we slow down? I think I'm going to be sick. Problem. We need a close look now at the transfer of oxygen and carbon dioxide between arterioles and venules. These two surround tissues and allow for the transfer of oxygen and carbon dioxide. But if you look a little further, you will also see a maze. Can anyone guess what that is? Those are capillaries. That is correct. Capillaries branch off from arterioles and venules, which make them smaller. But because there are so many of them, a more effective diffusion of the gases occurs. What if the heart pumps blood to the other places in the body? Does the heart get its own blood? I knew you would ask that, Wanda. Good job! And to answer your question, yes, the heart does get its own blood, but not in the same way that the same system, the other organs, get their blood. It is by the coronary system. This system has its own set of veins and arteries that supply blood to the heart. Don't worry, every organ in your body gets blood. Now it's time to end our field trip. Let's go back, let's go back to where we started, the right atrium. To do that, we need to enter from the inferior vena cava, thereby completing Tim's systemic circulation. Hey.